right. We're gonna play a new game. Hopefully, this is not a horror one. Uh, how do we play this game? I have no clue. Stop yet. X does not do anything. So yeah, the title of the game is What Remains of Edith Finch. It's an adventure game. And we'll see what this game's all about. Oh. What's how? R one, okay, R one. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Oh, all right. So we're gonna. Oh. Someone had put up a chain link fence but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Okay. So I can't... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's put some radical on that. There's no subtitle. There are no subtitles. Milton is missing, correct? The Finches. Right? How is it? Zuborg. Circle? Wait, X? Square triangle. Oh, triangle. Triangle does that. It's the reticle. Oh no. Okay, let's remove that. Alright. So far, it's a very. I lived calming. here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. It's like a really. Charm game. What the R1? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Okay. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, there. Boom. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The Finches. So, do I go down the slippery road? Or do I go the... Do I follow the road? Let's go down. I wanna go there. Ah, so it's a mystery. The safe route or the woody route? Let's follow the road for now. It's not messed with that side of the place yet for now. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few have prints. Can I go down there? No. Well, I'm really curious what's over there, but I'm curious what's over here as well. If there are two things that need to be curious. What? Why am I hearing a frog up here? What? Oh, hello. It's gone. The truth is, like that. even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. 
Oh, it's like, what the hell? The house was exactly like I remembered it. The what? way I'd been dreaming about it. What the house is this? What is that? What's that? Oh, that's a lot of frogs. That's a lot of frogs. Good. Ah, so it passes through here. Okay, we're going here then. Oh. Missing. Yep, that's it. It's missing. Ah, right, fine. We're going here. Screw that wooden pat. Woody pat. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Can I go out again? Oh man. The power had been turned off the night we left. There are many things out there. Oh well. Yes, we'll never know what those are. Oh! For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Yeah, home, huh? Where nobody's around. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Oh. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Wait, are those still good to eat? It's like, I'm assuming that you were here years ago. Wait, what's that? Hmm. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a yeah. smile with too many teeth. Nothing abnormal, huh? This place is fucking... A lot of packed. things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Oh, you mean the cat? You guys left the cat here? Alone? On its own? My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Oh, so Milton is like the exception, huh? I need to open that door? Yes? Oh, cello and a violin. Man, this place is full of memories, huh? Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Whoa. Whoa. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is a very calming The game. table was still a wreck from the night we left. How? It was like a bomb had gone off, How killing long? everyone but sparing the furniture. How long was it when you guys lived My here? mom was the only Let's one of us here. who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. What's that? I'm hearing something out there. What's that? What was that? Hello? Am I alone here? Or am I not alone? Is somebody here? No. No, no, I want I wanna I wanna play this. Great grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. 
along with the rest of the house. Who's Barbara? Search. Oh, the rector. No, who's Barbara? It's bed. Okay. Ah. I have no idea how to read this family tree. Yeah, that's definitely where I should go. So we're going up here. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then so, Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. How the hell? You guys sleep. Sven. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Edith. Edith Senior. So that's the this one, right? 1917 till 2010. And Sven, 1915, 1964. Right. Oh, he didn't. He didn't last long. He died around 54. 49? Yeah, 49 years old. It didn't last long. Okay. Calvin? Who's Calvin? My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. This doesn't look like a room of grandpas. Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Mount Rainier. Okay, so there's definitely a lot to take in in this game. So what's this? Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Oh, it looks like she's the director, so... Man, what the hell? Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. Bro, this place is huge, mate. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. So this is the second house, right? The original one sank. That's from my understanding. Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Oh man, she died 10 years old. Damn. Molly, 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 Molly. Oh man, 10 years old. Sad. Sad, sad story. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Okay, let's try the key. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Oh wait, so I was going the right way. All right. Wait, From crouching. the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Milton. 
Milton. Wait, what? If Milton died here? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Oh, uh, this is, um, the kid, right? The kid's room. Just like I one. had no idea where all this was gonna lead. The one that died at 10 years old. Or 10 years old. Molly, I there you go. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. How do you know that the kid died way, Being way, way for the before first you time, were born? I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. He said for the first time. Uh, I think there was a Barbie episode, a Barbie movie about this, when Barbie paints castle, then she walks right through it, then she goes there. I think. I believe there's a Barbie ever. Barbie I movie got the like sense that. Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Edie, Molly. Uh -huh. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but uh -huh. I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh wait, okay. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Bruh, how could you do this to your child? Could you let her eat this crap? My Halloween candy was all gone. How could you let a child, 10 years old, it. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Yeah, don't eat Christopher. You never know, Christopher might eat you. Molly. Right, so this was back in 1947, right? Way right back then. I kept eating and eating. Wait, you're gonna eat the toothpaste? Bro, what's wrong with you, kid? I ate. I ate oh. a lot of things that night. Those are fake. Those are fake. Wait, Bigfoot. And then Woods. Oh, so this one you're not gonna eat? Drink, huh? I thought you had some. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. What nest? I reached out for her. And suddenly... Whoa. I was a cat! What? 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 What the hell? What kind of... What? This I tried rare. to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. What is this? Whoa. This one passed me. Uh, up here? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. They don't look alive, man. Sorry. Uh, two. Three, come on. There you go, Molly. Good girl. You can do it, buddy. Come on. Where's the nest? The babies were all gone. Man, I thought I had free food. Where are you? Where'd you go? Huh. Huh. Yep. I jumped and I almost got her. Yep, you almost got her. Alright. 
What's this? What's this? <gasps> What's this? Some kind of Alice in Wonderland. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Her dead bird. Oh. I gobbled her up. Then you died. And suddenly, I was an owl. What? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What is this game? <laughs> So I have to catch those. Dang it. Got to catch rabbits, so. Top one. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. <laughs> Then, Paul is a savage. <laughs> For a ten year old, you're a bloody savage. Can you fly there? Can you fly there? Uh... Yes, a mama rabbit. A mama what? She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark! Bruh. What in the hell is this game? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> And into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. I wanted fat, juicy seals. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. Oh, I know you tore the flipper. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Get back here, little bug. Uh, I'm gonna get you. Uh, I'm gonna get you. Oh shit, what? Uh, I'm gonna get you. Uh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What am I? Oh, I'm a tentacle. I'm uh, an octopus. Yikes. Holy now shit. Now I was a monster and I smelled people up. I 
was big, but I moved real quiet. Yes, ah! Man. It's great that Molly died, dude. kid. I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. What do we do with a dark and sailor? that up <laughs> oh hi bruh I'm getting dizzy I got closer and closer how's my room Christopher no My stomach started growling. And suddenly, Hi. I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Christopher? obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. 
Edie would have, but Mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. We got along and it was a good place to hide from my mom. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Oh, Edith Jr., so that's what you're called. Oh yeah. yeah Edie gave a big Edith. interview about a mole Edith. man living under Edith. the Finch house. Edith. My mom was furious. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. <clears throat> Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Ah. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Go here. Oh wait, it's a different room. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh. Is this a red room? <sighs> Sven yep. gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. You were here. Oh, the kids. Kids are bad. I knew kids. Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. The command center. 
I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh. Okay. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. That day, day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. What the hell happened, buddy? I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Bruh. Woo, let's go. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Okay. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Go ahead. Am I pregnant? Is my character pregnant? Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. The passages were a pretty tight fit. Come on, Milton. They'd Where's obviously been thing? built for smaller hands and bellies. There we go, Milton. Barbara. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. How many years is this? Oh my god, how is that still... I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. How is that still... Bruh, that's disgusting. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. 
It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. How did Rick... Oh. This is some Halloween shit. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. This is scary as fuck. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you <laughs> She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Again? Bro. What the hell? Oh. <clears throat> Walter. Walter, are you there? Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. 
I returned, saw the Hookman, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> 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 There has to be. That night, she played her part beautifully. She thought about the man in Walter, but just couldn't do it. Uh, where do I go? Down here, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. The man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Shut up. Dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Oh dear. She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. Was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Oh, man. Okay. Whoa. Barbara. <sighs> I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Okay. Go 
going there. Wait, there's a there's a wire here. All right, all right. Can I go back there? All right, good. Just gonna check this real quick. Find the wiring where it's connected. Um, it goes back there. This is not. This is uh, what? Where is it? It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. So that's not. That's not it. Huh? Okay. Doesn't go through there. It's inside somewhere. Oh, it's broken. It's fucking broken, now It's this could be what could have happened here, buddy. Yes, it could be. I wonder if that comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. Only one restaurant would deliver to our house. We had Chinese a lot. What are we hearing out there? It's a different area now. This is where he cut his hand, right? Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Sven. That's all? That's all over here? I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Dark. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's no, a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster 
On the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. What are you eating? And then one day, everything just stopped. The house at five. How long were you hit down? Whatever here? that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe ah, I just bitches. got tired of being afraid. Bitches, okay. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. Can you? It's a lot of books. That's a lot of thing. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara and Molly and Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left, or a month a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Sure. Damn. For 30 years, mate. Oh, that's Barbara's crutch. They what that he used. She used. It's a lot of details, I'm sure. Under the library now. Maybe she die? was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Bruh, hmm. get down there. It's weird. You have to hold forward hmm. to go downward. It's not usually the control. But if she never escape. told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. That was disgusting. The dirty bloody years, bro. Hmm. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. Ooh, so yeah, I am pregnant. I mean, the character is pregnant. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. 
closer. <laughs> 